going on everybody today is a nice beautiful Iowa winter day I don't know if it's technically considered winter yet we're still in October but we're almost in November and it's starting to feel like winter today we're gonna be up at our site one hog barn where we loaded out pigs the other day and we're gonna be thinning out some pigs moving everybody around giving them the even amount of space and we're also gonna be getting rid of the mats that are in there because pigs no longer need them if we left those mats in there, all the pigs would do to them is eat them and chew on them and ruin them. So just a good idea to get, a, get those out of there so you don't have to go buy some more mats. Right behind me, you'll see this looks like a bunch of gravel dust, but what it actually is, is a product called BioCal from BioAg. And the reasons why we use BioCal, number one, it helps with our soil biology. Number two, it helps with organic matter. So it has some really good benefits for your soil health. The third reason as to why we use BioCal is it really goes hand in hand with our hog manure. As you guys know, all we use for fertilizer is hog manure. And this stuff increases your nutrient value of the manure that you put on. So it benefits it that way. And also one thing you guys should know is when you apply hog manure, 50% of it gets used in your ground the first year that you apply it. And then the other 50% gets used in the second year that you apply it. So some of it takes two years to work into your ground and some of it just works in right away. But when you use this, the first year that you apply it, you may be getting 60% or 65%. You know, you get more usage out of the manure the first year you apply it when you use it with this. So it's a win for us. It doesn't break the bank and BioAg is a great company to work with. So it's a no brainer. <laughs> Okay, chores are done for this building. So now we're gonna get into getting the mats out of here. So this whole west side of this barn is completely empty because we took the pigs out. So now that all is left are these mats. So we're just gonna get these out. And we figured out a really easy way to do this. A couple years back, I used to drag these mats out one by one just by myself with no nobody else. And that was horrible. And then I got somebody to help me do it and we would stack them and run them on top of the gates and just drag them. And then we got really smart. We had these carts made specifically for the mats. You can hang 10 to 12 mats each side. And that's what we do. So we put 10 on this side and 10 on this side. And then we push them outside the door that we have at the end of this, this building. And we set them on a pad that we built. We poured a concrete pad specifically for these carts. So they'll sit out there. And then when it comes time to wash, we'll put them back in, take them off, wash them with everything else. <sighs> you liking it? Huh? Got eight. We have to put 12 on these. I think there's four extra pens on this side. One, two, three. Six. Yeah, because there's 11 feeders on this side and 10 feeders on the other. So we'll put 12 on. 12 on each cart. Alrighty, so we just got this west end completely done. Mats are out of here on those carts. I'm gonna go show you something real quick. So I said that we poured those pads outside of these doors to put the mats on. Well, we just got those poured when the concrete guys were up at the new hog building site pouring the concrete up there. We just said, you know what? While they're here, we might as well get those pads poured because we always wanted to do it. So we did it, but we have a bit of an oopsie. One thing that we didn't account for is they had to pour these slabs, you know, kind of at an angle. I don't know why. I don't really, I wasn't really in on the design plan because I thought it was kind of straightforward. We're just going to pour pads at the doorways. But 
They had to pour them at an angle, so that's not good because the cart will roll down. As you can see, it rolled down into the gravel. And this is really heavy, so we're not going to be able to lift that up. We're going to have to get the skid loader to lift it up. But what we're going to do is we're going to have to get a strip of something to stop the cart from rolling down off the pad. So a little bit of a design flaw, but we'll get around to fixing that here sometime. And we have four pads, so we're going to have to do it to all four pads. But it just never ends. time this morning so I'm gonna run up to the new site. I put the box plate on the 66 and I'm gonna go up there and smooth out some of the ruts. Need fuel. Something always needs fuel. Oh my left my left hand's not very strong. I'm gonna hook this hair gator up, but I'll about guarantee you that the hydraulic hoses are too short because I stretched the tongue out when I had it on the auger because you want you want as much distance as you can get for the PTO shaft because it has to go on that little bit of an incline. So I stretched the drawbar out and I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna have to shorten it all the way up because those hoses are not a bit too long so we'll see whether that works or not one one's all right that one is too freaking short i'll get it don't you worry great camera work don't you think there you go Good morning everybody. It's Monday morning, November 2nd. It is starting to feel like winter more and more every day. I woke up this morning, walked outside to let my dog out, and it felt like I was stepping into ice age. It was so cold out there. Now we're in a nice environment hog barn that's 70 degrees all year round. So now I'm comfortable and I feel good. Today, we're gonna move some pigs. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make every pen look like this. And what this is, is four pens running together. Two feeders and four water cups that the pigs can drink out of. When we take out overstocks, we do this every time. Because in the beginning, we run all our buildings like it's a nursery. And that means we have all the pens running as single pens. And then when we take the overstocks out, we start running it as a finisher. So we open up all these pens for them. So there's just a lot more space for them. And there's a lot more variety for them to pick and choose what they want. So every pen will look like this. One, two, three, four two feeders, four water cups, and the pigs like that a lot. What we just went ahead and did was move the pigs from the east side over to this west side. Now we are going to go down on that west side and we're going to get the mats on that side because we have all the mats out of this side. I'll grab it with two. It's a lot easier. 